G'day everyone, how you going? Welcome to Matt Hill Scale Models. Today is video number three of the project on the bench, the Pro Modeler by Monogram Curtis P40E Warhawk kit number 5921. And with all the bits and pieces you can see in the background of the bench, some work has been nearly completed and finished. Uh, the airframe is all together. I'll just do a quick video now for those of you who are following it. Uh, some of the issues I've had now in saying some of the issues I had with the fit it could be the way I put the kit together I have been looking for a video uh, on YouTube of this kit to give myself some sort of better idea of how things went together and I can't find too much on this pro model kit but by looking at some of the photographs on the box art you can see a bit of a bit of a thingy bit jiggy there a bit of a fit issue and by geez it is it's a good fit issue but having fun i love it love the kit it's a good old kit um and it gives you something to do tinkering around on, on a nice subject so we've got everything the basic airframe assembled the canopy is on the interior is in um, and as you can see by the filler, we have got a few issues, but nothing that you can't tackle with, with a bit of patience. Now from that photograph on the instruction book, you can see where we have got some issues here and here, which then lead to issues here and here. So basically what happens is, that when the wings go onto the fuselage, fuselage, I can't even speak again, typical me, it leaves a really big step here. Um, so you've sort of got to sp spread these wings to come up um, the best you can, which will leave a bit of a gap through here. Um, glued in with a good poly cement glue, to me, or extra thin is going to be no good for this. Uh, it just won't hold. So you want to use either your choice of glue. I use a combination of super glue and just good old Humbrol um, liquid poly, you know, the thick cement, just carefully put it in there because that's going to give you the best bond over it and then just leave it a couple of days to dry. Then a bit of careful sanding. Now, with raised line panel kits, um, you're going to lose detail. I masked all this up to protect it. You're going to lose it. You're going to lose these details here. We will try to get them back somehow. You know, with a bit of pre-shading or something just to make them look like there was a couple of panel lines still running there um, but I will try to do a repair job on that best I can the other major glitch of this kit is the fit through the canopy the canopy is narrow than the framework like the canopy is a little bit narrow of the fuselage I should say so but apart from that, everything went together on the top. Our tar planes at the rear, they were a little bit fiddly, but you can see by the filler. On the undersurface, we've got a fit issue through here, through here and through these wing fillets here, but careful sanding filler, the same here and here. Through here is good, through the front nose is good. You'll find that the whole aircraft is a little bit mismatched. So when it goes together, for some reason, the the tailplane lines up perfectly and then you end up with a little bit of like a millimetre longer one side than the other. Um, but as I said, you can fix that bit of careful sanding. And the reason what you end up with, and I'll show you here, you'll see there's a gap, or not a gap, but a step forward on the nose which is right about here and what will happen is when you put the prop on you end up with a gap there so what I was either going to do is to try to carefully sand the um, port side of the fuselage half down or run a shim in this gap here just to fill that in i just don't like it you don't have to do it if you don't want to if you're just building this kit for fun 
Um, I just wanted to make it look a little bit better. That's all. Um, so that's the problem with that. The other thing which you have to watch is these glue on from the inside. The exhaust system glues on from the inside from the beginning. Um, not much use painting it. You can't mask it up. It's going to be a bugger. But if you pick this model kit up and you have, I've used to me, are extra thin, it just doesn't bond strong enough. If you grab it there by accident, you actually push this exhaust stub in. Um, and then you're in all sorts of drama. If you do do that, this little intake here on the top, you can get a piece of uh, thick wire and actually get there and push these back out, which I will do, and run a little bit of Tamiya extra thin cement back in here. So what I would suggest to do is use a good poly cement or a super glue or an epoxy to glue those exhausts in. Um, otherwise you'd be in danger of pushing them in if you do accidentally t uh, put like grab hold of it like I did. But yeah, though, so that's the construction side of things. Um, it's It hasn't gone together perfectly, but it's been a bit of fun. And um, that's what it's all about, isn't it, really? So uh, it has issues. The raised panel lines sort of really do let it down because of the issue. It's just, you know, you wouldn't go want to rescribe the whole kit. It's just, just not, it's just not. It all depends, it's up to you. I wouldn't, so yeah, I'll just see how we go with the uh, painting side. The canopies all fit together really, really well. There's some nice detail on the canopy. The canopy framework is really, really pronounced, so you'll find it very easy to mask up. Um, it's just very, very easy. I just used uh, Tamiya um, masking tape on that and just carefully masked it up and uh, we'll spray the zinc chromate green and then um, put my primer over the top of that so it just looks like uh, the interior framework is painted in the green. The paints I'll be using on this one which I've already started some of it and I've had a very good result out of so far. Uh, I've used the, well, we'll be using the Vallejo range of model air so I've got the United States Army Air Force light grey for the underneath the British dark green for the top and the British dark green dark earth as well as part of the camouflage scheme um, so far the paint has gone on well I'm not using I'm using straight out of the bottle with a drop of the airbrush flow improver the reason why I've stepped back to this Vallejo Air is I've got only got limited choices at my hobby shop now. My favourite paint, which I like to use back in the day, which was this um, water-based Mr. Hobby paint. It's um, they're just not stocking anymore. They've got the full range to me as well, but I just get a little bit confused with the the colour call out with the to me. So I've been using the Vallejo model Air now. Um, we'll see how it goes on this kit and see what it hand, what it's like uh, going down. It seems to go down when you spray it, thinking to yourself, oh, God, look at that. But I don't know whether it's the resins in it that self-level a little bit. And by the time it dries out, it gets a very good finish to it. But, you know, I'm quite happy with that. So that was about it. I'll just get some primer over it uh, today, Sunday, so I'll get some primer on it. I don't know whether I'm going to go for the whole complete back black finish and then marble on. I think I might go for the uh, for the uh, pre-shading on this one just so I can highlight and try to make it look like there's uh, panel lines there which have been uh, sanded away or I've, I've damaged it a little bit. But once I polish the plastic up and hopefully... Uh, it won't show too many scratches and I've got the fit pretty good but so far so good I really really enjoy it I've enjoyed it uh, I'm looking forward to actually getting some deck hours on it because I want to get on to my next build of well, firstly to I'd like to say well, not firstly lastly God blimey. Um, thank you to everyone for your comments and for your likes and for your support it's been fantastic I really appreciate it um, and I'll get back to replying to you guys. I'll probably give you the thumbs up 
to say thank you. Um, so one night I'll just go through and um, just try to reply to your comments. But I'd like to shout out to all you guys who regularly support me and comment and encouragement is uh, Brett G, Peter's Plastics, Charlie Mack, The Bilge Rat, uh, Greg Riley, who does fantastic work all the time, Strike Eagle, UK Scale Modeler, um, international scar model all you guys thank you very much for your support um the rebels of cloud nine always oh, that's a good chat to me as well thank you very 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 much go and check the channels out you probably already do um and i hope you enjoy this simple style of video now so we can just get back to building some kits and i can share some of these things that hopefully uh, you guys uh, will get a chance to build so until next time be safe model hard a little bit of effort, you can get a good result around an old model kit. And uh, God bless you all. Cheers.